Listen, we all know what's going on with Turkey and Syria and the devastating earthquakes that's been happening with the aftershocks over there and over 11,000 people have already perished. Um, thousands of people are still buried in the rubble and you know, we need to be praying for these people that God would send angels to minister to them in the midst of wherever they're trapped to help them escape and to help people find them in the rubble and to pull them free and also just to send ministering angels to the people that are trapped under there that need our prayers and even if they're not believers you know God wants to show them love and he wants them to know him so let's be praying for them and um, I wanted to talk about this the earthquake that was massive with the aftershocks and what Israel 365 news had reported was very very interesting in Jerusalem so this was after the earthquake and rain damage was reported at the Muslim structures on the Temple Mount and it says Arab media reported on Tuesday that pieces of mosaics containing anti-Christian verses from the Quran began falling off the facade of the Dome of the Rock. On Tuesday morning, Arab media began posting reports that a mosaic tile was falling off the western facade of the Dome of the Rock located on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. On Monday, Jerusalem experienced heavy rain, and the earthquake that devastated Turkey and Syria was also felt in Jerusalem. The ceramic tile measured approximately 20 centimeters square. The reports blamed the incident on the occupation or Israel's prevention of restoration work inside the mosque. The media noted similar incidents in June when stones fell in the interior of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the gray dome structure at the southern end of the Temple Mount. In August, stones fell from a column adjacent to the Prophet's Gate, also known as the Double Gate, one of the permanently closed gates along the southern wall. That's probably also called the Holda Gates, I would imagine. And the damage has been overall limited the tiles on the exterior feature Arabic calligraphy recording Surah Yasin, the heart of the Quran, which was commissioned in the 16th century by Suleiman the Magnificent. The Surah relates that after the Mahdi, the Muslim Messiah, only the followers of Muhammad will be resurrected, noting specifically that the apostles of Jesus, quote, are imposters and threatened with stoning, end quote. Wow, that's pretty blasphemous. <laughs> While some Muslims claim the Temple Mount is the location of Muhammad's midnight journey, described in Surah 17 of the Quran, most Sunni dispute this, and there is no mention of this in the calligraphic decorations anywhere on the Temple Mount. The mosaics on the interior of the Dome of the Rock are a Quranic 1933-35 rejection of the divinity of Jesus. Wow. So, this is incredible. The mosaics, the tiles are falling off, and one of these is about the rejection of the divinity of Jesus. Can you believe that? Wow. So, then it says, constructed in 692 AD by the Umayyad Caliphate on the orders of Abd al-Malik on the site of the Jewish temple, the current shrine is the oldest Muslim structure in existence. The architecture and mosaics were patterned after nearby Byzantine Christian churches and palaces and using the measurements of the Church of the Holy Sepulcher. The Crusaders captured Jerusalem in 1099 and the Dome of the Rock was given to the Augustinians who turned it into a church. 
Jerusalem was recaptured by Saladin in 1187, and the Dome of the Rock was reconstructed, or recon, re, I should say, reconsecrated as a Muslim shrine. During the reign of Suleiman the Magnificent, 1520 to 1566, the exterior of the Dome of the Rock was covered with tiles. The building was severely damaged by earthquakes in 808 and again in 846. The dome collapsed in an earthquake in 1015 and was rebuilt in 1022 to 23. The mosaics on the drum were repaired in 1027 to 28, and the earthquake at 1033 resulted in the introduction of wooden beams to enforce the dome. Parts of the Dome of the Rock collapsed during the July 11, 1927 earthquake and walls were left badly cracked. Rabbi Harry Moskoff, the author of the Ark Report, explained that the structure is actually built on an ancient underground complex. At the center of the Dome of the Rock is a large flat foundation stone, Rabbi Moskoff explained. According to Jewish tradition, that is where God sent Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. Underneath the stone is an empty chamber called the Well of Souls. In that chamber is a type of manhole that leads down to a tunnel. No one has ever explored that tunnel, and it is believed that it was used as part of the temple. It is even possible that the Ark of the Covenant is in that tunnel, Moskov said. And of course, we know all the information about Ron Wyatt's discovery and all of that regarding the Ark of the Covenant. And um, Rabbi Moskov explained that before the Dome of the Rock, a temple to the pagan god Jupiter was built at the site of the Jewish temple by the Roman Emperor Hadrian around 130 AD. Tuvia Sagiv, an architect who has studied the Temple Mount extensively, noted that both the Temple of Jupiter in Baalbek, Lebanon, which is still standing today, and the Islamic buildings we see on the Temple Mount were almost an exact match in both design and scale. He theorized that the Muslim structures were based closely on the pagan temple. Though nothing remains of the original pagan temple in Jerusalem, it is believed to have stood until the time of Hadrian's later successor, Constantine, in 325 AD. It seems strange that the remains of the temple in Lebanon were shaken yesterday in an earthquake. Well, that was a couple of days ago now. And its twin structure in Jerusalem begins falling apart today, Moskov said. So that is really interesting news, I would say. And, you know, things have got to change in order for the Jews to build the third temple and for us to go be with the Lord. You know, all of these birth pangs are happening. Um, let's just keep these trapped people in our prayers that the angels would come and minister to them in the midst of where they are, that Jesus would come to them and comfort them and help them to escape. Um, I think it's very interesting, all of these things that are happening. But I also wrote about the location of the temple and there's some very detailed interesting things about it that I had shared in there so I'm hoping that um, some events that just miraculously took place on Tubishvat for me again unbelievable timing of events on the very day that my mother was no longer in bodily form here, these and and this symbolizes the resurrection of the dead of Tubishvat and the almond tree and everything I discussed in my book that was one miracle after another. Another miracle has happened on Tubishvat for me, dealing with 
uh, my testimony going out and be praying for it because it's going somewhere that's very significant that could have a real blessing attached to it. Um, for God to put that timing on the day of my mother <laughs> again is just incredible. And that was that was not even including what happened with Tubishvat at the time of her death and the viewing and all of that. So this, this was something different that happened. And God is just doing miraculous things there. But, you know, there's all kinds of people buried in that rubble that still need help. And they still need our prayers. And so I just say, Lord Jesus... Please minister by your heavenly hosts of angels, your Holy Spirit, to those who are trapped in the rubble in Turkey, in Syria, those who need you and need to know who you are and need to come to you and repent and give their lives to the true Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who's proven over and over and over that everything he prophesied is coming to pass. We ask you to sustain the people that are trapped and help them to be found and discovered alive and um, to get them out. We pray for the little baby that was born and its mother passed away. I pray for the father who was holding the hand of his deceased 15-year-old daughter. I pray for them, Lord, that they would meet again in your heavenly kingdom and that you would comfort all of the people that are in shock and mourning and traumatized over deaths of their loved ones and the sheer scale of people that don't have homes anymore. We pray that you provide for all of their needs and that you would just be a blessing to them so that they would come to you, Lord Jesus. And please help the, the uh, first responders that are trying desperately to find people in the rubble and we pray for those who have passed on, Lord. We pray that they knew you in this life. We pray that you would bring comfort to their loved ones that remain here. And that you would give them dreams of their loved one being okay where they are. And that you would reunite them at the resurrection rapture. And those that don't know you, we pray that they would come to see that Christians are here praying for them and that we care and we send love prayers and blessing upon their lives lord for restoration and comfort in their grief and we pray all these things in jesus name and i just wanted to give you this incredible message that these anti-christian anti-jesus tiles are being shaken and falling off the Dome of the Rock. I don't think that's a coincidence at all. So uh, I just thought I'd bring you this story. I thought it was very interesting. So I'll talk to you later, and I'll see you in another video. Good night, and shalom for now.